buddy. Hello. How we doing? Welcome back. What you doing? You know, another day, another year, another new Jeep edition. That's right. Looking all rusty. So luckily for us, the lunchbox locker ferry came by. Justin got his somehow put in his lunchbox. Mine was just sitting here on the table. Yeah, the old elf shell <laughs> dropped it off. Well, we got the old Spartan locker, front locker. So we're gonna do the front locker today, and then Justin decided that we're both going to do a Lincoln locker up front. If you don't know what that is, that's where you take a Lincoln welder <laughs> and just weld the SOB up. So, you got the brakes pretty much off, and now we're working on the lovely hub. Well, this one's not great. No? I thought we did this one, you joined in this one. My, mine, we did. Yours, I did that oh. side. That side will come apart easy. This side, not so much. So yeah, one thing you definitely want to do when you're getting into this is buy the highest mileage, most northern Jeep possible. <laughs> that way you have the most rust to deal with. Anything in the rust belt. <laughs> but yeah, so you took the brake off, caliper off, uh, rotor off. Yeah, I mean you could just pull the axle nut. Well, no, because you still got to pull. I don't know. It seems easier just to do it like this. Yeah, I think you got to take the hub off, right? Yeah, you would. Yep. So, how, what size bolts back there? Uh, 13 millimeter, 12 point. There's three bolts that hold the whole hub on. So, three 13 mil, 12 point. Oh, God, look at your grease. Oh. Uh -oh. All right. We got both axles out. Um, definitely would suggest using heat and some WD-40 or something. And then now you got 10 13 millimeter bolts for the diff cover and then reveal whether or not she's got metallic in her or not. <laughs> Heavy metallic. But that's where you'll take your center section out and we're hoping we can get by the drag link. Yeah, not sure. Without taking it out of the... I, mean, I would button. hope so with the stock one, but yeah, I guess you never know. And I would use a little bit of heat on those too. Yeah, just a little bit. Don't get them cherry red, <laughs> but just a little bit. A little dab will do. Alright, let some bitch off. See, see what she looks there. like. See what she looks like. Oh! Oh, it's still there. Look at that. Well, the gear oil didn't look that bad, so. No, I didn't see really much glitter. Is there uh -oh. any in there? Not really. Oh, what's that big ass chunk of metal? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Looks like a front nail. <laughs> cool. Neo. It's hard to believe that there's like nothing in there, though. That's like all it is? No, I mean like there's no metal. Well, we haven't scraped around back there yet. Yeah, that's true. We haven't put a magnet in there. <laughs> That'd be a trunk or two. Alright, from what we've read on the internet, because we're YouTube mechanics, when you take those caps off, you want to make sure you keep them to the appropriate side. So the left cap needs to stay on the left side, the right cap needs to stay on the right side, and yep. you also need to make sure that the top is the top and the bottom is, you know, stays to the bottom. Sketchy. Or just <laughs> or just willy nilly yank her apart and <laughs> throw everything in a box and hope for the best when you put it back together. So how'd you set that down? Is this the top? Yep, that'd be the top. Okay. Yeah, right on there at the shark feet. Um I guess just it just comes out, eh? Give her a little tug. Oh she tight. She seized, huh? Oh, there she goes. Also, this will tell you if you can get it out with the stock stand. And you can. Alright, so that race is going to stay on this oh, yeah. side. Stay there. So you have two races that will fall out. Oh yeah, it fits right out there. Look at that. Good thing we stopped taking that ball joint out. Yep. Alright, you got a spot picked up for this thing. Yep, right on that red toolbox over there. I'd love to help you, but... Yeah, you're good. 
camera guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Most important job here. <laughs> Alright, so these are fine. Let's just Let's make sure those don't come out. That thing is freaking cute, dude. Little guy. Oh, yeah, and then we'll have to unbolt the, all that. Oh, yeah, the ring Pull gear. the ring gear off so we can get the pin out. Oh, yeah, the. Uh, the yeah. We got two pins. We got to take the big pin and then that. There's oh, yeah, there's pin. a. Uh, which, what do you, what do you call them things? <laughs> I know what you're talking about. The yeah, snap, I can't. Not the snap ring, the roll pin. Roll pin, thank you. Yeah, right there. Yep, so you punch that out, take the ring gear off, then you'll punch this center pin out. Yep. And then everything should, yeah, all should the gear should come out. Fall apart. Ooh. How's it feel? Nice? Smooth. Mm. We don't want smooth, do we want rock? <laughs> <laughs> How's the bearings on the outside spin? Good enough! Good enough, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Axle seal's good enough. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Cool. Alright. So you gotta punch the roll pin out, which we did. And then you pull the main pin out. Smack this thing out of there. All right. And then it doesn't really matter because we're not using any shims with the Spartan locker. So. Ooh. Oh, cool. Neat. Seen that on a Gears. video once. <laughs> Gears. Oh, nice. Nice. It's nice. got the, the shim. Yep. So make sure we take them bitch them things out. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> All right. You know, pick. Oh, there it is. Still there. All right. So, no shims. Alright, so you got a spring that goes in there first, right? Yep, you got your cups, you got this little doohickey that holds your spring. Ram jam spring down. Like so. Springy. And then these are your locking pins just to hold them down for now. Just, oh god. It's a little hole there, push it down. Locks in. Yep. Yeah. Because when you put it together, you end up pulling those pins out. Yeah, after it's like together in the, the and unit. And then they lock into the other side where there's a little divot for it. So these pins will go into these divots, and these pins will go into these divots. Mm -hmm. All right. I would highly suggest just doing it right the first time, because once you release these pins... And the spring pushes the pin between the two, I feel like it would be harder than... Dude, it's got to be terrible to get it out, because I feel like it's going to be hard enough putting it together, like so. Mm -hmm. Maybe not, but... Alright, so like that. And I'd put a nice little thin coat of grease on everything, just so it doesn't go in grat dry. I mean, that's what we're doing, but... Oh, and then you got these little... I don't know exactly what these cups are for. We want the recess side and the gear side, I guess. Yeah, the side with the uh, allegedly teeth. You want the open, open part of it. I guess you could say. We're gonna confuse nine thousand. Allegedly, people. I confused myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did it this way. Huh? <laughs> it's completely blown apart. Okay, all right. Well, I think. Okay. Goes in there. Yippee. Put one up here. Not tight. Oh, she's snug. She's in. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. That's true. It ain't wrong. Now, this is the fun part. Trying to get the middle sections in with the pins. I think we have to trim the sticks off. You think so? What I see in people trim them real close. But, who's to say? Let's try it. Yeah, who's it to really say? Uh oh. Dirt? Gasket maker. Gasket maker? That's rubber, so. Okay. That's one side. 
Oh yeah, you just gotta line the, the big pinhole up. Yep. Which, oh, uh, okay. Cause you gotta stick the big pin in, remember? Yep. Oh, right. Big pin. Sometimes we watch this, but I'm not listening to these guys. These guys are <laughs> idiots. <laughs> We're gonna have to trim this hog down. All right, so I trimmed one of the pins down. Let's see if it'll fit in there now. Uh oh. That way, I'll fast forward through all this and cut it out. Yeah. It'll be two minutes. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Is this a data 44? <laughs> <laughs> Did we get the wrong one? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so you got to put the one yeah, towards whoops. the ring gear first, which gives you enough room. Yep. Minus. You can't line. You're going to have to trim this one then. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense, though. What's that, trimming these? Yeah. I know. It's got it in the pictures. Watch your eyes, shoot. Close them. Watch the camera lens. Try to make sure I'm getting a shot here. Instead of watching you. Which side is the roll pin on? The far side or this side? Far side. Let me get that cup fell on again. What a pain in the butt. Alright, with a little finagling and a couple extra hands, got, got the it. pin in. Pain in the butt though. But she's there. She's together. Roll pins on the right side. Looks good. Looks real good, dude. Alright, new roll pin? Yep. It's a new roll pin. You got it? Oh, nope. shoot. Uh -oh. Grease just splatters all over the lens. <laughs> <laughs> Now you go back and pull all these little pins that are holding this. Oh god, that's it. That's it. You know we're going back because we're not getting that out. That's all she wrote. Without ruining something. Uh huh. So yeah. does this mean it's locked? It's locked, dude. The diff is locked. <laughs> Lock the diff. I'm gonna put a fake button on my on my dash that says diff lock <laughs> just so I can feel cool. Jake gets in, he's like, well, you got an electronic locker? Yeah, sure, sure do. do. <laughs> wow. Look at that. The Spartan is in. I just want to say, this is Spartan. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Every time I say Spartan, that's all I think of. <laughs> Gerard Butler, hell yeah. <laughs> This is motorsports. Yeah, I don't. Did we show us taking the ring gear off? I don't think so. No, I just. But yeah, you got to take the ring gear off with the impact, and then. Yeah, you may or may not supposed to mark it in the location of where it was located, but I got ahead of myself and. Yeah, we'll mark yours that. when we do yours. <laughs> I would just mark it, even if it doesn't matter. Right, just in case. I mean, I'll be living proof that. <laughs> It does or it doesn't matter. When it expl either it does explode or it doesn't explode. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's going to be fine. Be fine. Not. We ain't going to put no 100,000 100, miles on it.
I don't know. Got a power? Four liters run forever. That's I've a good heard. point. Might just start daily driving this thing. <laughs> yeah. Also, I've seen people Loctite these. Oh, yeah. A little bit of blue Loctite probably wouldn't help. Or wouldn't hurt. You want to do that? Yeah. You got some blue? Yep. And then when reinstalling the ring gear, uh, it's pretty a good idea to uh, clean the threads off and then apply a little Loctite if you have any. <laughs> if you have any. Blue Loctite, not red or green. What's stronger, red or green? Red? I think red. What the hell is green? You ever seen green? I've seen it, but. Yeah, right, red Loctite. What's this? But yeah, just use blue Loctite. Or red or green, whatever you feel like. You know what? Just do whatever you want. <laughs> just do it. Don't listen to us. We're fucking. We're, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then when you torque them, just about four or five aga agas. Yeah, wait for the rash to go. <laughs> and we're good. Alright. Alright, torque spec for that one is uh, those bolts. Not really sure off the top of my hand. I'll probably put it in the video, but we just did her about 14 aga agas. On the little yeah, mini impact? It's the little F3 8 impact. It was there when I was taking them off. It was about three seconds of full power. So I just put them back on three seconds full power. So a little reverse card. <laughs> back to where it was. Yeah, torque spec will be somewhere. But we don't have a vice. Yeah, I don't really care, so. <laughs> <laughs> you got locked tight. They're good to go. That's good enough. All right. Now we're going to throw the... Center section right back in. When you said throw, I really just wanted to huck the whole center just section at the axle. Just eat it right across <laughs> the shop. A little tight. Should be good. Oh, it's in. Okay. Yeah, should be in. And then put your caps back on. Mm -hmm. Make sure you put those on the right way, in the right side. Maybe. That's it now. And there she is. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a good how not to do anything. <laughs> yeah, so full full disclaimer here. <laughs> this is the general how to, not exactly how you should do it. <laughs> this is good enough for who it's for, which is us. It's how to install. It's how to install it. I mean it's the right way, it's just well, yeah, it's in there. torque specs, you know. Torque spec's just a number, right? That's true. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> definitely much better. Much gooder. Much gooder. Much gooder. All right, so we torqued the cat bolts down to 45 foot-pounds. And then uh, Justin put a nice bead of some black Where? RTV. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's that? On the pan. Stay there, little buddy. Now we're going to reinstall. Bye, little buddy. Ugh. Stay strong in there. Stay strong. <laughs> I feel like I'm burying it alive. And the torque spec for those 10, 13 mils are good and tight. <laughs> German. I like it. It's <laughs> all the smoke from. Wow, things escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, we mentioned earlier we were going to do a Lincoln locker. And, uh. Lincoln, well, there's no Lincoln here. There's no Lincoln Town Car. There's no Lincoln Welder. But we got the old Miller. We're going to call this the Miller locker. Now, you know, I'm not a perfect welder, first and foremost. But. This is what we this is what we're working with here. Alright. Now that's what you call a Miller welder. 
Look at that. That thing is not gonna break. Hold it right, go back, go back. Oh, oh. Look at those, look at those ugly welts. <laughs> She's on there. Yeah, it ain't moving, it ain't gonna break. I'll bet my life. I think the other thing's gonna be life strong. on that one. Look at your drain pan. Oh yeah. <laughs> so also, PSA, when you're welding, don't keep your drain plan, pan underneath uh, what you're welding because she, she will explode. <laughs> Sound like it. 747 was taken for flight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had a little fire. I went to go put it out, and all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, nobody died. Thankfully, no casualties. But, but yeah, we got six inch or six and a half inch now. We put leaf springs on it. Um, we did the brake lines, and then we did the spacers. So. We took the sway bars off too, yep, and uh, this thing should flex good now, and I shouldn't drag the rear tires like I was when I jammed them up in the fenders. So, so front and rear lockers plus two more inches, yeah, plus no sway bars. Plus, you didn't get the cherry bomb fairy. It wasn't good enough for you. So I wasn't a good boy. <laughs> I was a naughty boy. Slightly naughty. I ended up getting still a staple. It is still, in, it's still in red, the, and it's still cherry bomb shape. But yeah, I got the old thrush. Which, you know what? I mean, $32.99. Actually, I think it was less, wasn't it? Nah, $32.99. $32? Yeah. Okay, that's still, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. But, should be a whole new animal after this. And then we're gonna do a locker in Justin's. Yep. Which are we gonna put that in this video or no? We, we, can. we can put another one in there. That's true. And then we're gonna do another Miller welder or a yeah, Lincoln Miller locker. Locker in his. So. You know the meme of the guy that's laying underneath? Well, not a meme, but it's a video of he's laying underneath working on stuff and he <laughs> impacts stuff and then just the whole thing of dust, <laughs> dirt falls in his eyes. That was me trying to saw something. And then a stuff. gale in the water falls <laughs> on me. <laughs> oh my God. I can't see. Yeah, you hit this thing with a hammer. You're getting about 15 pounds of dust in your eyes. So. <laughs> that off. That's about it, eh? Mm -hmm. That was second. Get it wrapped up. Almost there.